Hello everybody, Toastmom here, and today we're going to talk about how to get the most out of Halo, how to get the most enjoyment, and how to be the most efficient about going about your playing and how to improve, stuff like that. So the first thing is, do not set high standards. Don't do that at all. When you're playing, do not look at the big picture, do not look at, okay, this player's skill is X, and my player's skill is Y, and Y is way lower than X, and this is no fun because I'm way worse at the, at the game than these other people. Don't think about it like that. Don't think about if you're going to win. Don't think about if you're going to lose. Don't think about any of that. Don't worry about it. But that is not to say you're not trying to win, you're not trying to lose, just don't have that as your main concern. When you're going into games to practice, try setting very tiny small goals and s focus on very specific parts of your gameplay. So when you go into a game, instead of thinking about, okay, I just want to win, I want to shoot people, I want to do good, and I want to try to get better. Don't think about it like that. Think about it this way. Try to set a small goal and focus on a very specific part of your gameplay. Like, maybe it's it's your grenade placement. Maybe it's your map placement. Maybe it's your strafing. Maybe it's the way you stick with your teammates and you're positioning yourself with your teammates. Think about those very specific parts. Think about respawns and only think about that. Still, obviously, play the game, but don't be thinking about too many other things other than that one thing. That is your main focus for the game. And by doing that, you won't look at this big picture and get very overwhelmed and frustrated about what is going on. You can focus on this very specific uh, task in the game. But also that allows you to feel the improvement that you wouldn't if you're looking at this giant picture. Because when you focus on a tiny thing, you can see yourself get better at that thing over a fairly short amount of time as opposed to mastering the entire game. Because that happens over a very long period of time. So after a little while, it starts to get hard to see your improvement happen day by day or game by game even. And also, when you're setting these goals, you want to be specific. You can't be very broad. You can't be like, or I don't know, like, respawns and stuff this game. No, you can't be like that. You have to be specific. You have to say, when I die, I am going to do this every time. And maybe that thing with, like, respawns is, I'm going to flip through my team my team's players so I know where everybody is and then I'm going to predict where I'm going to spawn so I, I learn where I spawn in that situation of stuff going on in the game. That would be a more specific thing than just saying I'm going to try to learn respawns. And by making it specific like that, not only is it going to be more easily attainable because you actually know what you're doing and you have more of a direction a lot of times, it's also going to make it more likely that you actually follow through with it and you end up doing it because it's specific it's not broad so there's a lot less ways you could talk yourself out of doing it so anyways there you have it try to not look at this big overwhelming picture oh my god i'm not good at this entire game break it down into little sections and then break those sections into even tinier sections and focus on those very tiny sections Try to get better at them and feel that improvement and embrace that improvement. When you do improve, be proud of it. Be like, yeah, that is awesome. I learned respawns better today. That is cool. And then look at that in the big picture. See how that applies to me. Like, man, I know respawns now better. I could totally do better at this, and that's going to help me on this map, and that's going to blah blah blah, and connect those other things, and see how those tiny improvements can help this bigger picture, and then you can see your improvement poof, skyrocket even more, and see that potential rise, and that's really one of the really exciting things that helps you push along and feel like you've accomplished something, because you have have accomplished something. You've gotten better at this very difficult game, and you've just improved your skill. And that is cool. That is awesome. So anyways, that'll be it for this one. If you liked it, you can leave a like or a comment, or you could subscribe because I post new Halo videos every day. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.